Hello and welcome to another series of Hammond for Hire. I hope you're all well. Uh, it's been quite an interesting period of time, hasn't it, with all of the fun that we've been having. Uh, if you are from the future, this is 2020 and it's uh, COVID and we're all locked down. But the good news is, uh, if such as it is, it gives us plenty of time to have a bit of a play around on Hammond organs and all those nerdy things that we all enjoy. So uh, there'll be a new series coming up very soon. And I thought uh, what I would do give you a highlight really of what I plan to do over the over the coming period. Um, I'd like to show you a couple of things that have happened with the Hammond since you've been away. I want to recap on some of the modifications that have been done, some of the new modifications, Ooh, there's one there, that might be of interest. Um, the same goes with the Leslie 144, 145 and the 122 that I have. Some changes going on there, some changes that you possibly already know about. Uh, it might be worth going through some of the old stuff uh, yourself. You'll see some of the changes on there too. Um, I'd like to explain some of the problems that I've had, some things that have been broken and that my uh, my magic technician has come in and fixed and some of the things I've learned along the way. I think that's always, always useful. Some, some of this very specific information I find is a little bit hard to find sometimes on the internet. Um, I've had some requests uh, but I'm staying over the over the period uh, for some bits and bobs. So I'd like to do a few more uh, tutorials. I, I don't claim to be a brilliant player. I really don't. I think I've got a, a certain amount of feel, but there are far more technical uh, musicians than I am around. But some people have been uh, very kind in their praise and have asked me to do a few bits and bobs for them uh, to help them out, which I intend to do, which is fine. Um, I'd like to look at um, miking techniques and recording as well. So um, I do a lot of recording now. Uh, there's some collaborations I've been doing, some fun collaborations, trying to shoehorn a Hammond organ into every possible genre. And uh, with your permission, I'll put some videos up of some of the kind of lockdown collaborations that we've been doing online over the last six months. Some of them quite obvious. I think I've got Deep Purple Highway Star in there somewhere. Uh, some are a little bit less obvious as well, so we'll we'll go through that. Um, with the recording, I'd like to show you uh, what I record with. Uh, follow the chain down from the ham from the um, the Pro Logic uh, Logic Pro setup and uh, through the Hammond down to the microphones. How I have those treated, the plugins and the effects, and uh, eventually the placement of the microphones on the one two two and how that works. I, I think that might be quite interesting too. At least a few of you. So I think the recording process would be a good way to do it. And then um, anything else really that that you fancy. And, and you know, it's, it's partly driven by yourself. So I have had quite a few comments over the period, which is brilliant. It shows that people are watching and a few of them have been very nice as well. So thank you very much for that. And, and I hope to um, be able to service some of those requests for you as well. And um, if I can help you, if I can't, well, it, was, it was fun, wasn't it? You know, um, so. I hope you enjoy. Uh, what I'm going to go and do now is record a few more and I'll release these in the series as I, as I usually do. And hopefully we'll have a, a fresh look at Hammond organs and Leslie's from a tone point of view, from a mechanical and electrical point of view, and from a playing point of view. And, uh, you know, remember, I love all things Hammond, so just speak to me and if there's anything I can do to hook you up with the right people or show you anything, then it'd be my pleasure. So, see you on the other side. Thank you very much.